welcome to geeks for geek today we would be discussing the problem named as minimum swap so as the problem statement is very long so i consider explaining you the problem through the diagram which would be more intuitive than the problem statement so it is given that there are sheep here i have represented as an human because drawing sheep would make it more voice okay let's move forward with this okay so consider this as the sheep okay so it is given that there are some sheep that want to get in the barn okay so this is the field itself and it is a kind of number line kind of structure okay like this sheep is situated backward at this sheep okay this sheep is situated backward with respect to the barn okay with respect to this is the barn itself okay so now what you need to do is they can't overtake each other like at one instance only one sheep can pass okay and it is also given that each sheep has its own speed itself okay so now there is a time constraint that is given suppose the time constraint is 2 hour and this sheep has a speed of 1 km per hour this sheep has a speed of 2 km per hour this sheep has a speed of 5 km per hour so what you can do is see this is this given time and it is portrayed in the problem that someone is trying to eat all those sheep okay and then what you need to do is you need to maximize the number of sheep that get inside the barn okay or you can say in other words that you are given a value k okay you are given a value k and what you need to do is you need to do minimum swaps so that at least k of the sheep get inside the barn okay so there would be n number of sheep and the and the speed would be given okay and the and the location of barn would also be given okay and then at least k of the sheep you need to get inside the barn so it is very easy seems very easy but the problem is that is making all the difference only one sheep can get inside the barn at one instance so you are also given the privilege of extracting the sheep like you can suppose this has a very slow speed 1 km per hour and the distance the speed it is having is not sufficient enough within the given time frame to get to the barn so what you can do is you can take up the sheep air lifted and swap it okay and then suppose you allowed the sheep to enter at the next instance suppose this sheep is also not able to get inside the barn but this sheep if given the space it would be able to get inside the barn so i would just say that this would be feasible enough to get inside the barn this wouldn't be feasible enough to get inside the barn so as this was also not feasible so now at this point of time what you need to do is you need to now pick up both the sheep and then again swap okay and if they are able to reach to the destination we can say that yes they are able to do it okay so now how to solve this problem to solve this problem it is a kind of easy task how i would say see just try to think if we want to meet the requirements as soon as possible then the sheep which are not able to reach the destination we need to remove them just try to think okay if the speed is slow then required and it won't be able to reach the destination then that would be removed because if someone is distracting okay someone is distracting our way then we need to remove that thing that is what happens okay okay so this is what we need to do okay so now if we would first check if the speed is enough to reach the destination if it is not enough then we would increment the value like we would increment this value and we would say that moving forward with this sheep is not okay we would simply swap it and we would increment the value of the answer 
at the next instance, I again found a person who is not able to reach the destination. But at this point of time, I also have the headache of swapping this also and the current also. So now I need to swap both of them. That is why what we would do is we would increment the value 1. And after that point, we would again add the value 1, again add the value 2. So this is kind of like this. If 1 is there, we would do it. At next point of time, suppose 1 plus 1, that is 2. Then 2 plus 1, that is 3. 3 plus 1, that is 4. So if you observe, we are just adding up the values again and again. Okay. So now the solution is a little bit simple. Okay. But getting the idea or understanding the question and portraying it is a little bit difficult in this problem. Okay. So you don't need to think much. Just sheep which are not meeting the requirement, you would just pick them up. The sheep which is meeting the requirements, you would make them inside the bar. At the instance, the requirement is met, we would say yes, the task is complete with the minimum swap. Okay. So to do this, what we would do is, we would just start from the back. Because that would be the closest to the bar. Okay. And this is the kind of number line where they can't overtake each other. Okay. I hope it's clear. Now let us move to the solution and it will be more clear. So there is one more thing before moving to the implementation. So how would we know if the uh, sheep is able to reach the bar or not? This is a very small thing. Elementary mathematics, but still I would discuss that. So see, we are given the speed. Okay, we are given the speed. And then we are also given the time. So don't you think distance is equal to speed into time? This is what is given. So what we can do is we would have the distance. Okay. We also have the distance from that point to the bar. Okay. From the current point to the destination, we have the distance. Suppose it is x. Okay. We have the distance. Suppose that distance to be covered is x. So now what we would do is we would as we are given the speed as well as the time that is given to us, what we would do is we would simply calculate the distance it can cover. Okay. So now the distance it can cover within the time, if it is greater than that, so this would pass. If it is less than that, we would simply revolve it. Okay. So less than equal to, then we would say that yes, this would be able to reach the destination. Else this won't be able to reach the destination and we need to airlift that thing. Okay. Fair enough. Now let us move to the implementation. I hope it's a bit clear. So now what we would do is we would initialize the answer is equals to zero. And then we would also initialize TS is equals to zero itself. But because at any every instance we need to add one, then we need to add two. Because the previous headache we are having, the previous sheeps we are having, we need to airlift that also and the current also. And that thing would be stored at the TS value. Okay. And then we have the requirement that is. These are all the sheeps that we are able to reach the destination. And if at any instance R would be greater than or equal to K, we would simply stop the iteration and we would say that this is the answer that you are trying to find. So now let us start from the very back. So for int i is equal to n minus 1, i is greater than or equal to 0 and i minus 1 is. Okay. And then we would say that if R is greater than or equal to K, then we would simply break from this condition that yes this won't be the scenario then we would calculate the distance distance as i told is equals to the value of speed multiplied by the time stipulated that is given now if the distance that can be covered is greater than the distance that needs to be covered that is the barn location minus the current location okay fair enough Bar location minus current location. Then what we would say that yes, this would be able to reach, this would be able to reach the destination. So now we would insert answer plus is equal to TS and then R plus P. Okay. Fair enough. Else what we need to do is P. At this point of time, that is not possible. Okay. So at this point of time, this TS value needs to be incremented Y because we need to airlift the structure. So we would say TS plus P. Okay. So now after all this is done, if the requirement is met, that is R is greater than or equal to K, it might be the scenario 
that in the last element these all requirement is met then after that point we need to again check because this condition would help us so if the requirement is met after this for loop we would return the answer itself okay if the requirement is not met that means there is no means we can meet the requirement so we would return minus one itself now let us just compile and run and see we are getting a correct output for the sample test case by the way a small disclaimer i didn't do the dry run for the sample test case because by no means the sample test case is going to help us because in the given false sample test case it is said that everyone would be able to pass without any swapping and in the next case no one would be able to do it that is why if you just take any example where the minimum swap is required that would be the whole solution to solve this problem okay just submit this and see okay we got an ac now let us talk about the time complexity also so at each point we are just considering and we are doing arithmetic operations so that is nothing but constant so for each element we are doing constant operations so for n elements we are doing big of n operation okay time complexity is constant we are only initializing the variables not any auxiliary data structure that means the time space complexity is also constant okay time complexity being the big o of n and space complexity being big o of 1 we would be able to surpass the given one okay. now if you were here till this point of solution and you are impressed by my drawing consider liking the video and commenting on the video so that the reach of this video could be increased and this work could be justified thank you and have a nice day